Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We have nerfs already. So, what do we have today for Shadowverse? My name is 23 Volt, and we're here to talk about the Swordcraft nerfs that are happening on July 5. So, what's changing? Regal Wildcat will be changed, and Honorable Thief's Defense will be decreased by one. So first, with Regal Wildcat, it is a 7 play point 4 4 with Storm, where when I believe you destroy... Is it when you destroy a bunch of followers? Oh, we're just gonna have a quick look here. Do 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 do. Do do. Do 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 do. <laughs> I probably should know my effects before I even talk about it, but... Uh, we're just gonna quickly check and see what Regal Wildcat does. Uh, 7 7 7, just over here. Okay, so it's a... Uh, fanfare, if at least... Okay, so it's 10. If at least 10 allied followers have been destroyed this match, give another allied follower plus 2 plus 2 and Storm. It has Storm itself. And now it's going to get rid of its Accelerate effect. So, if we go back... If we go back to the... Info... That was about the updates, where we're talking about the Regal Wildcat getting hit. Which, again, that kind of really sucks. Whoops, wrong thing. Let's go to Changes in Card Update. Yeah, so it's losing its Accelerate effect, which means that it's going to be a completely dead card until after turn 7, which to some might not be that big of a deal because most of the time there are many other ways to rally up in Swords, so Sword Rally can work, but if you draw Regal Wildcat early, um, it can actually prove costly because you may not have something to even play at 4 effectively. So maybe you need to play like a 2 cost only or a 3 cost only by turn 4, which when you're trying to rally up as many uh, soldiers as possible in Swordcraft Rally, that can suck. So it does, it is unfortunate that Re uh, Rally, uh, sorry, that Regal Wildcat is losing its Accelerate effect because even in general, that just means that it's, it's just slow. Granted, it is a good finisher if you get to the post game, and I'm pretty sure there are, are going to be many other Swordcraft um, cards that can replace it and maybe have only like one or two Regal Wildcats to finish off a game at the end of it. Because it, it is understandable that Rally Sword is freaking amazing. And then Honorable Thief going from a 2-2 to a 2-1 makes very much sense since his Rally effect at 7 is very easy to proc, which essentially makes him a 2 play point 4 4 with Rush. Last words put a Gilded Boots into your hand, which gives another follower rush uh, as a one play point spell. But now it's going to become a two play point four three with rush in, on Evo. So again, a lot more manageable and it, it's becoming a more tradeful thing as opposed to actually staying alive. Because I did notice that many Honorable Thieves actually live throughout a lot of it. So um, yeah, this card is, I think it's still good for both Rally and for Sword. Um, but it just means that it's going to be on board less likely, which again, that's fine. After the high ranking match data uh, following the release of Fortune's Hand, we found a sudden rise in two decks in the rotational format. The first is Rally Sword, an aggressive deck that uses rally effects in combination with cards that play followers at low costs, with the highest win rate at 59.4%, which is extremely close to 60, which is way too overly overwin rated, and the second highest usage rate at 18.4%. The other is Evolved Swordcraft, a deck that uses followers that evolve by effects in combination with cards that provide buffs based on number of times evolved, with the next highest win rate at 55.2% and fourth highest usage rate at 76 So it's understandable why Sword is getting hit because two of the top winning uh, rate decks at the moment are Swordcraft and different styles of Swordcraft. Uh, therefore, we uh, we decided to necessarily adjust the central cards to these decks in order to follow the changes to the Arcos to develop. So, yeah. I do believe that, yes, Swordcraft is really crazy right now, and its win rate is insane because most, especially the, especially Faerun, the neutral legendary that rallies at 10, easily procable by Sword, it's... It just gives Swordcraft a lot of board presence where the opponent, if they don't have like massive wave removal, such as Kel or Venge Walker or anything like that, then it's going to be a hard time. That said though, um, I really, I'm really upset. <laughs> For, I mean, I'm probably just biased because it's Sword. Um, am I, I think that the Regal Wildcat one is actually pretty big as a card itself because other than the current rotation right now, in other decks, the Regal Wildcat was just a general finisher. 
But ever since they added the whole rally system to the game, I can see that it, it itself has is like a problem. So if that's the case, then I can offer two suggestions. You can either change its accelerate to be a little bit later, or you can make the summons less. So maybe instead of a steel clad knight, a heavy knight and a knight, maybe just two steel clad knights. Or if you're going to decrease its accelerate, maybe have accelerate three summon two heavy knights. I think that summoning three for four is insane. Summoning two for four is generally fine because there's already cards that kind of do that. And it just makes Regal Wildcat a less of a dead card and it takes one rally point, which may be the cost of, you know, getting a Feyren, you never know. Um, but I think that completely getting rid of its accelerate effect actually really hurts it as a card itself. I think, I still think Rally Sword will be good. I still think Evolve Sword will be good. It's just that there are, in my opinion, there are other decks that are really crazy right now. And I'm looking at you, B Right Shadow. But in any case, I think that's all we're gonna have to say about this. Um, I'm, I'm not, I love my cards too much. I'm probably not gonna go for Vials and Regal Wildcat, even though I should and probably get the more meta legendaries, but I love playing meme decks, so there you go. Anyway, I'm 23 Volt. I'll see you guys next time for more YouTube shit that I do in the future.